Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I am continuing with the site course series. Now many of you were asking me to prepare videos of the questions which I have asked earlier in my previous videos. So I thought let's prepare a series of videos in which I will give important terms of site core which would prove very handy in your interview preparation. Now in this series I will also answer the questions which I have earlier posted. So how we will go? I will give a short definition of this term and I will route you to a detailed version of it by providing the documentation and direct link of those terms so that you can read more on that because it's not possible to explain all the terms and cover the whole site core within three four videos so i'll give a short definition which you can answer in your interviews and then if you want to read more about it you can go to that those links and read more about those so without any further ado let's go to the first slide so the first term would be adaptive personalization. So what is adaptive personalization? It's a type of personalization that uses visitor profiles and pattern card matching to display targeted content and presentation for the contact during a visit. So if you want to read more about adaptive personalization, I would recommend this site. You can go to this site. I'll put the links of these sites in the description box and then you can read more about the adaptive personalization how you can do it what is the benefit of it so i found found this article very useful and very handy so you can uh, these two links i found it what is adaptive personalization you see with the adaptive personalization in site core you can use visitor profiles and pattern card matching to dynamically adapt the content shown to website visitors in real time so why you use personalization with adaptive personalization in site core you can use content profiles and pattern card matching to dynamically adapt the content and messaging shown to your website visitor so all those details are there in this site so you can read more about it if you want to otherwise the definitions which i have given would be sufficient for the interviewer now the second one is base template so what is base template a base template is a template from which other templates inherits fields and section now for base template i have a separate video how we create the base template how we can inherit the base template those i have already covered for more details i'll provide these links which you can refer so these are the base template you can it's a directly site core link so what is base template uh, it's here in the data template section and it has all the details the hierarchy that you how you can inherit it and how you can use it you see the data template inherits its sections and fields from its base template you can see the base template associated with the data template on the inheritance tab in the template manager so you can see it's in template manager and the note i would suggest you read notes on all the links which i'll provide because this would be very useful so if a set of fields or sections are common to many templates then you can gather these together in one data template and then you can add that template to other templates as required so if you say this to the interviewer he will be quite satisfied because this is the main purpose for which we use base template so this way you can answer now going to the third term what is the third term what is branch template now again it's a reusable predefined item structure that contains a definition item and number of descendants and that users can use to create multiple items at once and this is generally very useful for repeating patterns of the content in your site so if you tell this definition to the interviewer he will be quite satisfied and if you want to read more about it you can go to this branch template again here uh, in the data template section uh, branch template and i will always suggest to read this note so what does it say when user creates an item using the branch template site code replicates all descendants of the branch template definition item before expanding tokens these item contains a copy of the content so contains a copy of the content renderings and so on of the branch at a time the item was created any changes apply to the branch template after the items were created do not automatically appear on the created item so this also sometimes they ask so how to create part template data template branch template by duplicating an existing item so 
these you can read more and try to try to explore more on this moving to the next term what is bucket so it's a container that allows you to manage large number of items in the content tree by hiding items so that they are only retrievable by using this site course search engine these bucketed items are still easy to retrieve and work as the content tree grows it become harder to locate items in the hierarchy and performance decreases by storing item in a bucket you can organize them in a logical format that allows you to increase the search performance so you can see what is the advantage of buckets it increases the search performance so if you want to read more about buckets you can anytime go to the item buckets and then you can read more about store items in an item bucket synchronize an item in the item is search of the hidden item view item is store item in an item bucket and synchronize an item so everything is there you can read more about it uh, as you can see the definition item buckets let you manage a large number of items in the content tree an item bucket is a container that you can use to hide innumerable items and is still easily retrieve and work with these items the only way to find bucket items is to use the site core search engine and again as the content grows it gets very difficult to locate items and performance can decrease so the explanation is there you can read more about it i have given you the term and the basic definition you can build on this moving to the next term what is bucketable so the ability of an item or a template to be stored or hidden in a bucket or item is called bucketable so all those items which you can put in bucket are called bucketables so you can read more about the uh, what are the items which are bucketable so you can read more about that i'll give all the links in the descriptions again now what is canonical url so an html element link that aid search engine so the point here is that aid search engine optimization by helping webmaster prevent duplicate content issue by specifying the preferred version of duplicate pages so if you if somebody ask you what is canonical url you can give this definition and if you want to read more about canonical url you can go to this site and it's a site called site official site and you can see what are the wild card how you can use the canonical url so the basic definition would be to improve how your web shop ranks in the search engine result you can assign canonical url urls to the pages in your store front now there is a wild card also so a wild card page maps all url paths to a common child of that item you can use wild card item to reuse and share data if the name of the item is asterisk then that item is a wild card so how it is used you see the category and the star how you can do it it's already explained i'm not going to explain all those because i have to cover other terms but you get the idea you can read more about this now moving to the next term is what cms so what is cms now as we are studying site core site core is a cms so what is this content management system where users can edit manage and publish content so it's very easy cms but sometimes people ask and then the last term of this video would be what is componentize how you can make components and how you can componentize the things in the playlist you can check how you can make components and how you can use it it's there in the videos you can watch those videos so what would be it to split into separate components so how you split into separate components there are videos in this playlist you can watch that or you can go to the site core site and see the components i'll give the link also so here is the pages component placeholders and content items everything is there so you can uh, read it from here so this is the component how you can assign a content item to a component in torrent so all those components you can search now that's all for this video in the next video i'll cover the next terms and i think in 3 4 videos all the terms which would be relevant to site core or which you should definitely know in site core would be covered thank you so much for watching and if you like the videos please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much